Let's talk about this case of mystery anemia in a pit bull terrier mix. This seven-year-old pit bull presented to the internal medicine service as a referral from the primary veterinarian for unexplained regenerative anemia. So once at the referral center, they decided to do a blood smear just to see if there was any clues in there as to why this patient was anemic. And um, here we go. <laughs> here is the answer. I love when this happens. I hope you can see all over, there are these little blue to purple dots all over the outside of these red blood cells. And here's a really good example of one where they're all lined up in rows, which is very characteristic of this particular organism. This is Mycoplasma hemocanus. Hemocanus is not nearly as common as hemophilus in our felines, but hemocanus is, I've actually never seen a case until now, so this is very exciting. This is an interesting infectious organism. It's a bacterial organism, and usually this is subclinical in pets that are affected until they become splenectomized or immunocompromised. And so in this case, the question was, okay, now we have a diagnosis, but why does this pet have this? This dog had a splenectomy two months ago because of two benign hemangiomas that were affecting the spleen. It all fits. I love it. So this pet was actually treated for mycoplasma hemocanus and recovered uneventfully and is now back to its normal self. Just for fun, here's the PCR confirming our interpretation of the blood smear, but this took a couple days to come back. So we actually were able, or the vet was able to start treatment way before this came back.